Hey, what's going on, everybody? How's my thing, Junior, the real movie critic? Today, I'm going to be talking about the film Aquaman. Now, before I start, let me just tell you something. People who know me knows that this is not a character or superhero that I like. I always end up hating. My favorite part is trolling the Aquaman lovers. That's a funny conversation if you ever want to read that. But yeah, it is not a character or a superhero I really like. And I have many reasons for that. But with all that said, I enjoyed the movie. It for from the DC Extended Universe. Uh it is probably their top two. <laughs> as sad as that sounds. Two or three. Uh I hadn't really decided yet. And um and the biggest reason and it really is because of James Wan's direction. The way he created a great universe under the sea with the seven kingdoms under the sea. Uh, the way Atlantis looked, that was awesome. Um, and, yeah, it, it, the cinematography and the way the action scenes were and the action scenes of them, you know, floating around in the water, it was pretty cool. It, it looked it looked like a world that is pretty legit, you know, to say that. And the, re- the one of the other reasons why Aquaman worked, Jason Momoa playing Arthur Curry, It really showed that he loved playing this character. Like, Jason Momoa was born to play with this character. And he showed it. His charisma, his humor, uh, everything. It really worked for him. And that's what sold sold for me in this film. His chemistry with uh, Mira, uh, played by Amber Heard, was really good as well. And yes, uh, it wasn't a perfect movie. Uh, It is a cliched origin story. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it also, um, it it started off kind of campy for me too, which I was like, oh my gosh, is this going to be the tone of the movie? But it grew on me and it actually was a little better. And, um, yeah, it was a little predictable. Uh, spoiler. I knew when Atlanta, who was played by Nicole Kidman, uh, the mother of Aquaman, you know, right from the beginning when supposedly she died. Uh, I knew we were going to see her again. And lo and behold, we did. And one moment that really had me like, really now? It, I wouldn't say as bad as the Martha moment. But the part where uh, Aquaman's about to fight that big crab creature. I forgot the name. And then the fact that he could talk to her. She's like, oh, you're alright. Yeah. It, it did kind of end it on a little sour note. Well, it wasn't really. Anyway. Spoilers aside, and by the way, Black Manta was cool. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you that, even though he was a minor villain, but you'll look for it in, the, in future films. So, after all that, I give it my real rating of four stars. It was good, fun, entertaining. Not the perfect, but definitely one of the better of the DCEU movies. Alright guys, whether you agree or disagree, feel free to comment in my social media. Also, support The Real Movie Critic at GoFundMe.com slash Real-Movie-Critic. And thank you all for watching. Until the next time, I'll see you there. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to go on my blog at RealMovieCritic.com. There you can find my links to my social media. You can like me or follow me. But most of all, you can subscribe me on YouTube. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned because more reviews will be coming soon. All right, guys. I'll check you later and I'll see you there.